In this following tutorial we're going to use the move area tool and move a section of our terrain to another part of the landscape. So here in this example map I have a lighthouse and I have the section that's sticking out from the terrain. And as I'm creating this I am noticing that if the player is going to be here uh, this area is a bit too far and I wanted to move it a little bit closer but I don't want to rebuild this part, this section. This is very helpful if your map is a little bit more developed and it has more objects, more vegetation and the ability to move a certain part of the terrain to another section is very helpful. So let's move over here and I'm going to take this section right here and I'm going to move it over just a little bit, getting a little bit closer to this landmark, this area. So go ahead and in the roller bar, switch over to terrain and we have move area tab so let's click on this and first we want to define the select source so let's select this and you get a outline of what part of the source terrain move tool you want to select so right now it's way too big so let's position it first and let's uh, size it down so we have X Y and Z and we want to just turn this all the way down just for the area that we want to move. And let's bring down the height as well. So let's zoom in a little bit closer and let's get it even smaller. And I want it a little bit smaller still. So here we have, and let me go up and take a look at it from top down. And that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and while it's still having it selected, let's move it over a little bit. right over here so now this is the area that's going to be moved right over here so now that I have the source selected and defined I'm going to select the target but before that I'm going to sync height because this terrain currently is at the same height and I want to make sure that the height is kept when it's moved next let's select target we have another box and it's going to retain the dimensions of the source select box so this is where you want to move this area to. So I'm going to position it a little bit higher. And this is where it's going to go, right over here. A little bit back. So now I have the source and the target set. Down here we have vegetation and only terrain. If you have vegetation, you can move the vegetation from the source to the target. And if you only want to move your terrain without any objects, move it along with it select only terrain this will only move the section of the terrain but the object such as this lighthouse will not get moved so I want to click this off because I want to move this object as well so once you are happy let's click on move here we have terrain move area it says that we can not store a complete undo for this operation which is fine we don't want to undo anything and if I press ignore that's fine I'm gonna click ignore and we have moved the section over now at this point I will have to go back and refine this area back down and flatten it. But we have moved the terrain section with the objects applied a little bit closer. So if I get a better sense of the world right over here, this is a little bit better and this is what I wanted. I wanted to move this area a little bit closer to this beach shore area. So now once I'm happy with this, I can go back to modify go back to flatten increase this control click on the bottom of the ocean and I can just go ahead and flatten this area down bring my hardness back up and just go ahead and bring this all the way down and rework this area a little bit better using the smooth tool and the other modified terrain tools and get it a little bit more natural and one last part you may have to reload your terrain if we zoom in you can see that some of these textures have been misaligned because we moved our terrain so to fix this you will need to go to terrain and reload terrain and it will fix the misalignment